we've driven just a little way down the road to a place called Playa Honda and uh, that's where Wendy picks up her medication and I've been having a bit of a sore finger lately and I picked up some magic cream from there yesterday um, it's been sore for about a week and uh, I've put like two applications of the cream on a little tiny bit and is already feeling better so I think it's got a bit of anaesthetic in it so it doesn't feel so sore so that's quite good um, we've got a 250 mile journey uh, ahead of us it's a lovely sunny day it's warm and uh, there's none of the rain and storms uh, hanging around for us but let's get on with the journey here we go So we've stopped halfway at a Lidl's and although it is it is quite busy um, out there it's uh, it was easy to get into because it's on a we chose the one well, we just checked on the way and it was um, it was about seven kilometers away from where we were so we just the sat nav just brought us here and we're on an industrial this the sort of um, retail park so there's uh, Jisk Jisk over there and then next door to that is uh, Decathlon and then there's the Brico 
the Brico Mart up there and Lidl's just over here. So Wendy's gone to do a bit of stock up shopping and uh, well I'll have a little bit of a rest because uh, you know we've I've driven maybe about 100 miles so uh, so that's okay um, but that's the sort of halfway uh, stop and then we'll maybe maybe uh, you know prepare a little a little bit of lunch uh, while we're here and get going <laughs> our little journey uh, from La Manga to Motril and <laughs> it went without a hitch yes didn't it? it did the it did. roads as you will see were mm -hmm. absolutely clear um, if you go on the AP7 from La Manga to Motril your willpower toll at the moment and I think the toll is supposed to be uh, just about 8.75 euros so 8 euros 75 it actually cost us 12 about 12 euros and that's because we went off to get some fuel so we needed yeah. to fill up with diesel should have done that earlier in our journey and we wouldn't have had to pay so we paid uh, four pound fifty to go to go off and then when we came back on we paid another 
seven pound fifty, yeah. something yeah. like that. Yeah. So it was, it was about it was about twelve pound, twelve euros, something, mm. twelve euros, twenty p, twenty cents. Anyway, so that's that. But we got um, we got to Montreal without a hitch. Mm. Um, yeah, easy. Filled up with LPG on the way, yes. which was uh, very good. So um, we are well, we checked in to um, Camping Poniente, which is right opposite the beach. Yes, it's really right on the beach. It's been a beautiful day. Mm. Drove, went round, you know, did the the site tour, um, picked the pitch that we wanted. Mm. Um, well, we picked we picked a couple. Because you know what it's like. People come in and they say, "Oh, that's not available." We wanted it um, really like face, so we get yeah. most of the sun, particularly the afternoon sun. And there was so, a lovely pitch. We thought we would be able to get on that pitch. Pitch fifty-five, yeah, which might have been okay, mm. but it was taken by somebody else yes. um, that had booked in earlier and was dragging their caravan round to it. Mm. Anyway, mm. so we picked seventy-nine, and they, you know, checked us all in. Mm. Said right, look, you know, um, it 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 was uh, eighteen eighteen euros a night, um, but he said, look, if you book another three days, uh, you can get it for twelve fifty. <laughs> so we said, all right, so we booked we booked that. Um, I think that's overall going to be cheaper. So we're twelve fifty a night, but. We we didn't we hadn't paid yet because you pay on the way out mm. and um, we drove in. Yeah. They said don't go down to the end. You need to turn up one before because the end one's a bit tight. You won't get your van round. Okay. Well, what they didn't say was all the other rows are super tight. I mean, okay, we we'd be we'd walked round, but we hadn't we hadn't really clocked that there's metal posts and concrete blocks and trees everywhere and, and the people are parking outside the amenities block so it's when we tried to turn there, in too. yes uh, anyway. all over the place so um we couldn't get to the <laughs> no, pitch we wanted to, to go on yeah and then we couldn't turn mm -hmm. down we could we actually couldn't get out no. so we had to go right to the end of the site and negotiate a T junction, turn in, reverse back and, and come back round. Managed to do that, but we had to drive the wrong way round the one way system and come to the in barrier and then go to reception and say, Look, we can't get on the pitch, can you let us out? Because we were gonna just go somewhere else. Yes. And he said, Oh um <laughs> in two days Pitch number one is available. Well, okay. Well, we'll have that then mm. in two days. Mm. But where are we going to park? For... So we're actually parked in the car park. And we said, don't worry about the electric. We're fine. Uh, but, you know, so we're parked in the car park. They've actually run a special electric, electric cable for us. Yes. Not that we need it, but... Um, <laughs> They're so amenable mm. here. Mm. Uh, Camping Poniente. Mm. We're going nice. to give you a tour of the pitch. Yes, and show uh, you where the, we are. Yeah. Of where we are and the, and the whole thing. And where uh, we wanted to park. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we'll be very happy with pitch number one because it's near everything. Mm. I'm exhausted. Yeah, you are actually. After you were mentally. Uh, it was a bit of a stress. You, were, you, you. you were getting like me, so stressed and anxious, oh, weren't you? And you couldn't think, yes. you couldn't see anything. No, oh. no. Do you know when you get to a <laughs> yeah, position? Yeah, did, darling, didn't you? I tried to phone my brother. I couldn't. I couldn't work out <laughs> yeah. how to call oh. him on Messenger. No. Oh, he's on Facebook Messenger, and I couldn't. I couldn't. Literally, couldn't work out for five minutes no. how to make a phone call on Messenger. I'm looking down the bottom and it's it's got a voice thing and it, uh, it's the telephone's at the mm. top. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Took me five minutes to work that out. I'm so, I was exhausted yes. mentally. I'd gone I'd gone stupid. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we met uh, Malcolm. Yes. So hey Malcolm. Hello Malcolm. Yes. Um, and he, he just popped his head through the window, didn't you? <laughs> and said, 
Hi, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, you know, that's always a nice thing. Yes. So we, we like people to say hello. Yeah. So, hello, Malcolm. Yes. Uh, pop round. You yes. know where we are. Pitch one. Mm. Uh, well, in two days' time. We're right next to it, actually. Mm. So, at the moment, in the car park. <laughs> so, there you are. We're <laughs> essentially wild camping yeah. on a campsite. Yes. <laughs> and we're very happy. <laughs> yes. Very happy. <sighs>